Hi, this is the this is self study for the third lesson, and it's reading through, just looking at these graphs for sine and cos and tan, and then linking it to um, the translations. Or it's just a reminder about the translations. So because there's a plus a on the end, that's a translation. It's gone up by a or down by a, whichever way. So that's a translation. That's called translation, and that is. 0 a and then with this one it's inside the bracket so it's left to right so that's a translation now remember it swaps sign does the opposite then I've got this one here which is a stretch stretch parallel to the y-axis scale factor a and I've got this one, which is the wrong way round. So it's a stretch parallel to the x-axis scale factor. Now remember, if it's inside the bracket, it does the opposite. So instead of a, it's 1 over a. The minus, you're multiplying everything by minus 1. So that's a reflection in the x-axis. And that one there, I'm switching, so I might be plotting minus 360 degrees at plus 360 degrees. So that's a reflection in the y-axis. You've got your calculators. You can also use Desmos, which is still in here. So that's all still there. Boink. And then this is the actual lesson three. Okay, so I'll do a couple of examples from this, and then we'll do another video. There's quite a few to do. So it says, um, so there's sine x, so I've got a sketch it. So if you look, it's three lots of it. So it's a stretch parallel to the y-axis, scale factor three. So all the y values are multiplied by three. So I've still got the same graph. I put kind of dots in roughly where it should be. So I've still got the same graph. And you can graph it on your calculators. But instead of going from plus and minus 1, I go plus or minus 3. There. So that's your first one done. Oof, let's have a look at this next one. So this next one here, it's a half x. So that's a stretch. Scale oh no, parallel to the x-axis. Scale factor 2. So I'm cramming half as much graph into the same space. So I'm putting half as much graph in the same space. Essentially, I'm doubling all the x values. So instead of going from 0 to 360, I'm going to kind of stop there, but it's just going to be stretched out. So I double it all. So instead of plotting at 90, it plots at 180. Instead of plotting at 180, it plots at 360. So my graph goes like that. But it's still between plus 1 and minus 1. But you can graph it on your calculator, can't you? So make sure that's okay. Right, the tan graph. So this one here, look. It's inside the brackets. You think it's going to the right, but it's actually going to the left. So it goes left 45 degrees. So it's a translation minus 45, 0. Right, so there's no axes here now. So that's a bit random, isn't it? Right, so what I do is I cheat and I would graph it as normal. It's not going to go quite that far now, is it? It's going to go part way, I think. So maybe there. Uh, and then I'm going to move. So the whole graph is moved to the left 45 degrees. So everything's moved that way. So I'm going to cheat and I'm going to move my y axis to the right. So the graph moves to the left is the same as the y axis moving to the right. 
So now that's zero, that's four to five. Uh, that'll be 135, because that's 180 take 45. That'll be 270 take 45, which is 2 to 5. That would be 360 take um, 45, so that's 315. Oops, 315. Can't write 315. So that one's a little bit more tricky to do, but you know what? Cheap. Just calculator. That's why we pay the extra bit of money just for this bit. How awesome is this? So that's your first page done. There's another one. Let me do this next, this next one. Right, so this one says, if you look, the half is at the front. So I'm moving it up by a half. So it's a translation, zero, a half. So the whole graph goes up by a half. So instead of it bottoming out at minus one, it now bottoms out at minus a half. So it's all gone up a little bit. So that's quite hard to do, really. Uh, so let's give that a go then. So I'm going to do it there for one and a half. And then I'm going to do it there, which would be my half. And then there, my minus a half. Then there for my plus a half. And then there for my one and a half. So I've got it looking like that. So it's gone up by a half. But I'm going to stop recording there. Then we didn't have some starting. So I've got to remember to do the videos from there onwards. See you later.